So currently patients are treated with repeat uh, surgical debulking of their disease. Uh, there are no approved systemic agents. Uh, there have been many agents tested, uh, intralesional injections of different agents, um, but the data is um, conflicting of whether or not it uh, truly provides clinical benefit. Uh, so we were looking to develop the first systemic treatment uh, for this uh, rare disease. So as I mentioned, uh, the current standard of treatment is repeat surgical debulking, which palliates the symptoms of voice disturbance and shortness of breath that these patients experience, but it doesn't treat the underlying cause of the disease, which is chronic infection with HPV 6 and 11. So the goal with this treatment is to be able to elicit a strong HPV-specific T-cell response that would actually be able to treat the underlying cause of the disease, which is chronic HPV infection. So it is a um, gorilla adenoviral vector, um, which um, encodes for different um, HPV 6 or 11 viral antigens, uh, and it is able to um, uh, infect uh, an um, antigen-presenting cells and really deliver its DNA payload so that it can train the immune system to uh, eliminate uh, virally infected cells. It's uh, uh, designed as a phase one, two clinical trial uh, where patients receive an initial standard of care clean out surgery, followed by four um, separate administrations uh, sub subcutaneously of PRGN 2012. That's given over a three month time period. So it's a one time treatment course and the goal was safety and also to determine whether or not patients after receiving the one time treatment course were able to avoid further surgery in the year following treatment. So the next steps is a uh, confirmatory study that we're looking to um, conduct um, at the uh, one site being the NIH Clinical Center and um, to, to really um, further look at the robustness of the responses that uh, we're seeing in the phase one two clinical trial. You know the way that we see this uh, being deployed is that patients can receive this one-time treatment course following an initial standard of care surgery. Uh, the um, patients can then um, be followed to see if there's um, any recurrence that occurs. One thing that this confirmatory study will be helpful to, to answer is whether or not a repeat treatment course would actually provide benefits uh, to patients. Because the current study was only a single um, one-time treatment course of three months. So we're going to see in this next study whether or not retreatment can actually benefit some patients. You know, the one thing that's really um, uh, important about this study is that there's currently no systemic treatments available for these patients. You know, they require repeat surgical debulking that can lead to permanent scarring of the voice box and the trachea. And it's a real, you know, of course, um, physical burden on the patient, but also financial burden as well on the patient and the healthcare system. So this is really hopefully going to be able to provide a novel treatment option that currently doesn't exist for patients and their providers. Unfortunately, providers also are really not stuck with many options for these patients.